Today I wanted to do a bridal makeup look which was obviously bridal makeup but with just a few little tweaks to make it a bit different. So I'm going to be starting off with BB cream and I'm going to be using a brush for this. I'm also going to bring this over the lids a little bit just to try and cancel out some of that redness that I get over my eyelids. And then around the edges of my eye I'm going to go over it with my fingers and some BB cream and blend that out. After I've done that I'm going to fill in my brows and I always like to go through my brows first with a spoolie just to make sure that they're all brushed in the right way because sometimes if you've just left your brows alone they can sometimes stick in all kinds of funny directions and it means that they end up looking different unless you brush through them first and then fill them in. After that I'm going to take a small brush and I'm just going to do some regular winged eyeliner. It's going to wing out in the outer corner, it's going to go all the way into the inner corner but I'm also going to try and get it underneath the lashes and I'm going to do this by looking down at a mirror and try and get this as close to the roots as possible so that I get a really nice clean line. When I'm doing my eyeliner I like to get the flick to curl up around and point towards the very edge of my brows and then connect it down to the very roots of my lash line. Once I've done that, I'm going to take whatever's left on the brush and I'm going to dabble this underneath my lower lashes. Then I'm going to take a fluffier brush and blend this out. When you're first applying the colour, don't worry about it being too neat, just get the colour there and then blend it out. You could also use your fingers for this part if that's what you prefer to do, but personally I prefer a brush. Then I'm going to take some white eyeliner and do some three white dots on the very outer corner of the wing before applying mascara, then getting a lash guard and then just going through it with a spoolie to make sure that I don't have any clumps left on my lashes. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and I like to do this three times, one at the roots, then curl a second time in the middle of the lashes and then curl a third time at the very end so that you get a natural curve and not this sudden weird angle on your lashes. Now for the false lashes what I'm going to be doing is using some demi lashes and applying this on the outer corner. As I've probably mentioned in my previous videos I'm not a fan of strip lashes for bridal makeup because if you get even a little bit teary the inner corner of your lashes are going to lift up and that's obviously not something you want to be dealing with on your wedding. So I prefer having the demi lashes because even if you do cry a little bit they're not going to lift up and then I take individual lashes to connect the line onto my real lashes. Before I apply the burgundy lip colour I'm going to be taking a semi transparent lip liner and putting this around the lip line just so that later on when I've applied the lip liner and then the lipstick even if the lipstick does bleed a little bit it's not going to bleed too much because that lip liner is already there to stop it from moving around. So I'm going to be taking a burgundy lip liner after that filling in my lips. Over that I'm going to be applying a glossy burgundy colour blotting it and then applying a second coat but if you're not the kind of person who likes heavy lipstick makeup you could just get away with applying a lip tint instead. It's all about the kind of makeup that you want to wear not necessarily what I'm showing you in the video. Once I've finished off with the lips I'm going to take a small rhinestone, apply that just underneath the wing on the outer corner of my eyes, then take a pink shimmer, apply that on the centre of the lid and then the inner corner of the eye and then that's it, you're done. 